Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Trottors, and last time we learned that the wizard keeps guns in his dungeon. Why does he keep guns in his dungeon? I don't know, he's kind of a big 2A guy, always yapping something about standing his ground, I don't know. He's kind of a weirdo, I try to keep away from him if I if I can, but you know, he's, he's kind of off on his own thing. But right now, what he's having us do is run for it. We have to fetch 8 red gems. And I'm sure we're going to have gunfire hot on our heels. Because sometimes he just likes to make this dance, that wizard. He's a, uh, he's a, he's a heck of a guy. Oh, yeah, see? See? He's, he's sick. He's sick and sadistic. He's sick and twisted. Alright. Alright, well, we can, uh, get out of here, maybe. Will it go through the... Oh, it will blow up our blocks. Oh, that is disconcerting. Okay, so... But it's good to know. It's good to know and good to learn. But I think we can get out of this one fairly easily. We can even recover a little health in the meantime. Yeah, this is pretty simple. This is just don't get hurt like a dum-dum. Reflex exercises are not really this game's thing. Uh, wonder why there are rocks up there. What what purpose does that serve to be able to bring those down? NRLS gnarls. Uh, no, no rules. There are no rules. Physics are out the window. We're dealing with anti gravity now. Up is down. Down is up. Math is science. Pink is purple. No rules, indeed. Okay. Rescue 7 and Terminate 7 out of 14 and 14, which hurt and are lethal. No rules. There are no rules in Sphinx Boog Land. So, let's go to it. What What has been... Oh! Okay, alright. So... Alright. Okay, some of them are going some way, some are going another. Um... The best thing to do, obviously, is eliminate them in some kind of rhythm. Okay, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, I can spend the rest of the time focusing on saving them. Okay, yeah, I have taken a bit of a beating, so... That is nice. And I can just save eight of these guys now. Now we just have to build to the exit without them... Uh, without them freaking out too much uh, which is very easy because we can just build a staircase straight to the top man these are going quick today uh, makes me makes me nervous that we're gonna run into something with some that really gets us hung up uh, I'd like to get that before everybody leaves would be nice to take off with full health there it is right there number seven that was not so bad at all that one you can kind of handle on the fly. I like levels like that, where you can solve them like that, just kind of... They're very nice. In free fall, I think that says, that password seems to say. So, we're going to have to keep them from taking a fatal plunge, I bet. Uh, any, any foes in this one? None, but... Oh, no far fall. Eh, mm, I like mine better. 30 men, save 20. We're going to solo it up here. So, what happens? They come out of an exit. Oh, okay. Alright. I see. So, we have to get up there before, before bads happen. Oh. Okay, so that saves some of them. Okay, that saves a good chunk of them, actually. Uh, but it doesn't leave me with much good I can do for them. Um, I'm going to take a risk real quick. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That is a fatal fall, though. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, please. Oh, why? Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, geez. Okay, some of them are making it. We have a few making it so far, but I only have two blocks that I can get up to the top with now. Um, sorry, I need you. Uh, ooh, an extra block pickup. I have not seen that to date. 
Okay, well that's keeping them from getting to the... Okay, alright, alright, alright. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and rip this out from under us. Alright, that gets them into the exit. You know, we've got quite a bit going for us here. That I think it would be nice to... Okay, alright, they're kind of flippy-doing on that thing. And they're coming down the way here. Let's put this here then. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, well, maybe it does. Oh, nope. Okay, a few made it in and more. I did that purely by accident. There was no skill involved in that whatsoever. I don't, I don't really understand how I made it through that one. <laughs> if I'm being real with you, I just put blocks in places. Where the flippy blocks are concerned, I try not to think too hard about them. As long as I'm not leading them directly into the path of danger. So, next level password, run around, giving them the old run around. You know, that's a surefire way to screw things up, so I've heard. Rescue all out of 10. So, how do you propose we do that? Any Anything in here that I need to really know about? No, this is just kind of a, oh, I get exactly two blocks to work with, and one of them is an ice block. Aha. So, the game is afoot. Okay, okay, I see. I see your little game here. Alright, so, you're gonna make me do the thing, aren't you? Okay, so I have to not screw this up like a jerk. Okay, this one, this one can get, uh... This one I can get myself stuck if I am uh, not careful. So, I could stick that there. Yeah, that should be okay for the time being. Oh, hey, hi, how you doing? Okay. Okay, and I have to make sure. Oh man, so I have to kind of set, I have to get both blocks up into this little tight space. Okay. So, as long as I... Oh, ooh, gosh. I know I'm going to get way up and then just screw it up like a jerk. Okay. See, I was afraid of hurting toddlers. Or trottlers. Well, they are kind of like toddlers. They're little babies. But I was afraid of hurting them. I was afraid of them falling, making a fatal fall from the ice box. So, I panicked and I reacted too quickly. Well, this one is just, you know what you got to do and you just got to execute it. The only real way to do it is to be fast and decisive and precise with the clicking. So I got to know what I want to do and do it. It's times like these I wonder if I would have been better off going with the controller. I was just so enamored with getting to use the mouse in a Super Nintendo game. And it's times like these that are really making me hate it. No! All right, Jess, take a minute to breathe, focus. You've got the ice block in the middle. So you can you can take a minute to breathe. You can take a minute to nap, do what you gotta. Don't let anybody, don't set your block down. Just be patient. Let them get out of the way. You can't eliminate any of them. If you eliminate even one, you lose. So you gotta let them clear out so you can do your thing. Very good. All right, and then there we go, and you just got to take it up one more, and then they'll do the... No, they won't do the rest from there. Mm. Okay. They won't do the rest from here. Some... Hmm, this is bad. This is actually bad, I think. This is actually bad in a way, because if some of them come up... Okay. So they're kind of moving symmetrically here. Yep, they all move. Okay, so one gets in. So now I have to be a little... So now I have to be a little snipey. 
They're all going to come around the way, but I have to wait for the last one. Mm. I wish I was not standing on the... I wish I had more than one block, because an ice block is very dangerous. Time is good. It looks like it takes them a while to do what they need to do. Okay, but yeah, see, if I do this wrong, one of them walks onto the ice block and falls. So I have to wait for the last one to come around so that he can be safe. But the problem is it takes them like a zillion years to walk around the rest of the level. So I don't know if... I don't know if I kind of set up shop in the right place or not. Uh, I wonder if I did a bad, but at least they're safe for now. But I can't move from my spot. I have to wait for them to keep coming around. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these guys left to get. I don't think I can wait it out like this. Okay. Okay, this is a little tricksy, but here comes this last one. Yeah, it takes too long for them to run around. I would have to kind of do this all over again. So I only get two blocks to do this, but I have to kind of secure a spot. I know, I know, shut up. I just have to kind of secure a spot. I think I may have started from the wrong place. Because they walk around so symmetrically that I can't really save one over the other in a situation like this. But, like, gosh, I wish I could. Okay, so I can pick, like, one to save. Okay, so I could have done this a little more efficiently. No! Yep, and yep, he plummets, he's gone. That's it. So, like, I can choose one coming in from each half, whichever one's coming in faster. But if I screw it up, I'm in trouble. All right, we're just going to do this with as much patience as it takes but also as fast and efficiently as possible. We're just going to let this line go. Mm, yeah, they were a bit far off in that case. But I got, I got three in that time, and that works a lot better. Maybe there will be a gap in some of them now where they'll come in at a bit slower rate and it will be... It will be like obvious, like, oh, I can let this one come in this way. So I kind of have to direct traffic. I just have to be very, very patient about it. And I can't let too many go. Like, I got to make some hard decisions. Like, this one is easy. Very easy decision. And if I'm quick here, I can get away with this one. Okay, that was a bit scary, but I did it. Okay, so now I only have three to get in. That's perfect. I can wait on three of them. We can just sit here and we can just do our job. Man, this is a harrowing level. First of all, you got to do the block hop to get up to the top. Then you have to make decisions so that you don't lose time. I like this one. This one does make you... I thought this one was a little more straightforward, but it does make you think. And man, going down to get that clock would be tempting. As would grabbing some bananas. I think some potassium would really help us do our job right now. Alright. So I can do this kind of at whatever rate I want at this point. So I can, I can wait for the final straggler here. It's not going to take him a minute 50 to walk around. I've made enough right decisions that I just need to not screw it up. I can basically place the block if I want. There may be an easier way to do this. And if it's looking me right in the face, um, good for it, I guess. But I just, I'm just doing what I know. I'm just doing, doing things the best I know how. I'm working with the knowledge I've got. So I don't know. I think we were making a pretty fair clip today, so I'm going to say I'm going to say kudos to me on this one. Give myself a little self pat on the back. A beaten level is a beaten level. Doesn't matter how sloppy you did it. It only matters that it was done, right? Right? Right. 
So, well, we've had a hard round. Looks like we're about to have a bad board. Or maybe there's a bad broad. I could tell she was bad from the way she walked in on those games. Uh, it's probably bad board. So, bad bird. Uh-oh. So, we're in the jungle. And now our trottlers are going to get eaten by a bird. We have to rescue all the men. Uh, despite the fact that they are punnily named after babies, we have to rescue all the men. Which numbers 20 of them. So is there a... Is there something we gotta worry about here? There sure is. There is a bird right here. Oh. Um. Okay, I can't like Donkey Kong. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to make a block. Alright. So, let's see. I want to see... I want to see... I feel like I'm... Okay, so the bird only hurts me. That's interesting. Okay. Huh. Alright. Interesting. We've got a trap that only hurts me. So, here we go. Oh! Oh, okay. So, Trash Bird comes in and pecks my blocks to death. Okay, got it. Uh, is there any way to trap him in some kind of pit of hell? I would like to punch the bird. Here we go. I don't th The bird looks like he might be only be able to peck from above. So, yeah, you stay, you stay in there. You stay contained. That is intriguing, though. I did not think... I do like that the bird ignores the trottlers. That's, that's kind of a, that's kind of an interesting twist. I will give it that. Uh, well, now that they're on their way... Uh, no. This is no time for a rest. Uh, I want to go ahead and grab that blueberry. I think I've, uh, earned some health. Don't you? Uh, yeah, he could only... He can only destroy blocks from above, it would seem like. So, there we go. I thought the bird would be more of a threat. Uh, but turns out, not so much. So, let's go on. Let's move on a little more. Let's push a little harder. Cover them. Alright, so... We're gonna be... We're gonna be covering them, obviously. Uh, that much is clear. But to what extent are we going to be covering them? Uh, rescue 6 out of 30. Yikes. Um, we're about to see some bloodshed, methinks. So, we're going to cover them. Oh, gosh. Uh, I start out pretty compromised. And I get nothing but ice blocks to... Okay. Alright. Alright, so... Okay, so I kind of... Oh. Oh, and I went to the wrong side then, obviously, if I'm trying to cover them. Okay, so one side kind of gets covered up, and okay, all right, let's 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 try that from scratch. I understand what I'm supposed to be doing now. So I start out a little bit hurt, but uh, I, can't, I can't really help it. The birds spawn right on top of me. So, all right. So, let's go up kind of the same way we did. Um, so, this side gets covered up. Um, all right. So, thank you, uh, Mr. Bird. Oh, hey, the bird just got shot to death. That's cool. Okay, that is not a way I can help them, though. Okay, so they... Okay, he just pecked that to death. Okay. Okay, so they can slide across that. Okay, I didn't mean for him to get pelted. But they're coming out at kind of a nice enough rate that I don't have to do anything, really. I just saved six just sitting here doing nothing. Um, that wasn't too bad. Um, oh, I did forget, though, that they can... I did forget about that a little bit. Though it doesn't seem to have mattered. Everything is fine. 
I can go to the wizard man. I can tell him job well done. I've earned my paycheck today. Next time, uh, we're still in the thick of the jungle that the wizard has in his dungeon for some reason. This wizard, he is a very mighty and powerful wizard. I must admit, I do not understand his ways, but if he has a jungle in his dungeon, you know, so be it. I, who am I to question that? Um, and who am I to question the wisdom of saving blocks, which is obviously what we're going to be doing to some extent next time. Probably a great one. 